through the course of HIV treatment, uh, somebody diagnosed with HIV infection will need to be on HIV therapy for the rest of their lives. At this point, we don't have a cure. And so we try to find a medication regimen that they can take easily every day. Um, sometimes what happens is that patients may either have um, acquired drug-resistant HIV when they were infected with HIV, or they develop um, drug-resistant HIV through the course of taking their medications. Um, we'd like to, most patients who start HIV therapy now, take one pill a day, and that's very convenient. However, a certain percentage of patients will develop resistant virus, and so we need to find then a better way to treat that virus, and usually that involves taking two to three medications separately, not as a one pill a day option, and they usually need to take those medications twice a day. We designed a study for patients who have drug-resistant virus, and we wanted to find a way to treat their virus as effectively as possible. Um, what we wanted to do was try to avoid a lot of pill burden, and um, we know that patients will need to take medications twice a day, and they'll need to take um, usually two to three medications. So um, traditionally, or through the, you know, most, most clinicians have been continuing a class of medications for their patients that we have a lot of experience with, um, the NRTI class. And so we, what we wanted to know was, do we really need them? If we have these new medications that are very effective, do we really need to continue that older class of medications? And we were able to show that we don't. Um, so half of the, um, uh, study group population were given the medication um, in addition to their new medicines and half the population was not and we didn't show any difference between the groups in terms of how successful they were and so what this shows is that we don't need to continue the older class of medications. Clinicians I think are going to be very interested in hearing about this. Um, they can offer their patients something that they haven't been able to offer before.